Hi, in this video, I provide a demonstration of how to collect RSI and logs for JTAC support. Jumping onto the CLI of my VSRX appliance, in order to collect the RSI, I'll issue in the command request, support information. I'll issue the pipe command, and I want to save this to a directory on my VSRX that'll be used to transfer the files over later. So the directory that I want to save it under would be the var temp directory. And lastly, I want to name this file. Uh, for instance, I will go with RSI and I'll specify the date to be October 5th, 2022. And I'll hit enter. We'll give it a moment. What this is going to do, this is going to run a snapshot of virtually every command on the device and store all of that output into a file, which makes capturing the current state of the device a very simple process. This can take a moment to complete, so I'll let this run and I'll see you when it's done. All right, and that took a little over eight minutes to complete. As you can see, it wrote about 11,000 lines to that file. Next, I'll go ahead and collect the logs, and I'll do so by issuing the command file archive source var forward slash log. So I want to archive this file destination, and I, I want to specify the destination to where I want to output this. I want to make this accessible in the var temp folder, and I'll call this this file logs.tgs. So everything within this directory, because there's multiple log files under this var log directory, will be put in a file called logs located in the var temp directory. And we'll validate that in just a moment. So I'll go ahead and issue the command enter. And I'll go ahead and take a look at the results. So if I issue the command file list, and I look in the var temp directory, well here, I can see the log file that I just created, as well as the RSI file that I'll be uploading to JTAC for further support. And I can transfer these files over to my computer by using uh, file transfer protocols such as SCP or FTP, whichever is suitable in your environment. Uh, typically what makes it easy for me is I use a software application called WinSCP, which makes transferring these files pretty easy. But that does wrap up the end of this video. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for future videos. As always, thanks for viewing, and I'll see you in the next one.